We're good. <laughs>
so good. It's so good. Ready?
as a big group before we say goodbye to everybody and we will be singing goodbye so this is not goodbye just yet but it is everybody and a staple at the Glen and a Glen favorite since at least since I got here probably since before of course is Do Re Mi Do La Dear from The Sound of Music I'm sure that everybody in the room knows the song so by all means please 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 sing along with us or just relax and you know. Easter morning. Yes, you have it. 2006. Good boy. Teen. Teen. Such a Oh, chocolate. <laughs> Eddie, you will have three, I believe, three yellow ones, too.
hunt is on. Hey, Max. So you're These are good hunters. I don't know. There are lots of rules in here. Just. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright. Yeah. Don't you remember Hop Play? Bunnies like to drum. Mm -hmm. I think you have two more clay.
done. Did you pay? Uh, Is it? I don't 
Two dollars? Yeah, nobody wants the vintage stuff. I know. Yeah. Alright, that's enough. Yep. Yeah, I don't want that whole bunch of vintage stuff. that made the Glen really great. Everyone can see that we have an exceptional faculty at our school because of the, our students are happy and successful. But behind the scenes, we have an administrative team that makes it possible for all of us to do our jobs well. I have, without a doubt, the best job in the world. And these are the people that make it so. I would like to recognize them and ask them to stand. Sandy Cushman. who's our finance and benefits coordinator. And last, but certainly not least, the man who single-handedly painted our building, <laughs> Jack Harvey, our facility Besides our admin team, there's another group that provides an overwhelming amount of support to our school through generous gifts of time, all their dedication, and their expertise. This group of volunteers goes above and beyond for the school and its mission. I'm talking about our board of directors. Since I stepped into the role of school leader this year, I have been humbled by their contributions and proud to serve with them for the betterment of our school. I'd like to recognize them now. They are Michelle Hauser, our president of the board. Kristen Hannibal, our vice president. Prasad Pathy, who serves as secretary. Tamara Howard, who is our interim treasurer. Stephanie Frawley. Angel Bainey. And Kilichon Gurley. Now I get to shift gears a little bit and talk about a student in the Glen. It's now time for the Montessori Classroom Community Leader Award. This award is a truly special recognition. Students who are nominated for this award have not only met the high standards of academic and personal development in the Montessori classroom, they have exceeded them. The Montessori Classroom Community Leader Award recipient is chosen through the following process. Teachers choose a single student 
between kindergarten and fifth grade to nominate. Only one. They write a detailed account of the student's contributions as a leader to the school and their classroom community. The nominations are then reviewed by a committee independent of the school, made up of alumni, alumni parents, and Montessorians from other local schools. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let me tell you now about this year's recipient in the words of the teacher who nominated them. This student is dedicated and hardworking. They are a leader in the classroom and the school. When a big class project required the student to go above and beyond, they did without hesitation. The student always brings great ideas to class. And when they identify a need in the class or the school, they bring it to the attention of their classroom community and facilitate a discussion until a solution is reached. In class, this student is always willing to help and teach their classmates when they have questions about their work. The student is thoughtful and patient when working with their classmates. The student is also dedicated to doing their best on their own work. Everyone who knows this student knows that they will be very successful one day and that in everything this student does, they're an outstanding representative of the Glen Monster School. I would now like to invite Dina Fox, Susie Moran, and Amelia Wider to join me on stage to announce this year's winner. Please join me now in celebrating this year's Montessori Classroom Community Leader Award recipient, Amber Murphy. the invaluable contribution, passion, and commitment this person displays for the Glen. This evening, the 2016 Outstanding Service Recognition Award will be presented to a member of our community. As we will soon acknowledge this individual, we would also like to recognize all parents, grandparents, and special friends of the Glen for the amazing work that you do. You all make a difference each day, and we thank you for your dedication, enthusiasm, love, and love that you have for our school. We cannot do what we do without you. We would like to share with you the nominees for this year, for this year's Outstanding Service Recognition Board. Nominees, please stand. Amanda, Amanda Lavala Richardson. are two reviewed by a committee independent from our school made up of alumni, alumni parents, and Montessorians from other schools. Now I would like to tell you about the recipient for this year's award in the words of the community member who thought to nominate this person. This individual is an amazing volunteer, parent, and committee member who demonstrates all of the characteristics we hope to instill in our students at the Glen. This person is knowledgeable and generous about what he knows, is patient and eager to help, is creative and uses encouraging communication to inspire others to think outside the box. This recipient has been instrumental in many of the positive changes at our school this year, was a champion of the Parent Ambassador Program while serving on the Communications Committee, 
This individual has been a vocal advocate of the Glen as a parent ambassador, especially for our elementary program. This person is a valued member of our technology committee, who at committee meetings is able to offer a knowledgeable perspective that at all times keeps the needs and the mission of our school front and center. Their background in technology has also helped the Glen make good decisions about what we, about how we conduct business online. The work of the Glen's beautiful new website came to be because of this recipient. Through expertise in web design, the framework was built and the administration was taught how to use it. This person continues to monitor the, monitor the site and serve as a resource for the faculty and staff. Before introducing our recipient tonight, I'd like to invite Jackie Herman to join me to present the award. make it today. Uh, 
Island.
would like to invite my lower elementary colleague, teacher Kayla Fader, and our third grader is up on the stage. So these students have grown from wide-eyed first graders, slightly terrified on their first day of elementary, to hard-working and industrious second graders, to mature and knowledgeable third graders, leaders in their classroom, and ready and willing to take on any challenges that may come ahead. We will acknowledge them individually. Hi everyone. The first third grader I'd like to recognize is Skylar Morrison. She has been at the Glen since our children's health program with Miss Renee, and I was with her too, so it's very fun. And now she is moving on to our upper elementary program. So congratulations, Skylar. The next young lady I'd like to recognize is Isha Patel. Isha also started in our Children's House program with Ms. Renee and myself, um, has enjoyed a long lower elementary program, and unfortunately she will not be doing upper, upper elementary because she's moving away to Louisiana, so we will miss her great. <laughs> My last friend I'm going to recognize is Akil Talori. Akil started in our elementary program he has been with me for a couple years, and I have to tell you, he is a smiling face every day. Akil will be moving to Arizona, and we are going to miss him so much. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, we did have one more from Ms. Kayla's class, and that's Alexander Hummel. Unfortunately, he couldn't be here tonight, but he will also be entering our upper elementary in the fall. And last but not least, Max Hauser. Max has been here since he was a wee little three-year-old in Miss Dina's class. And then he's been with me for the past three years. And next year, he will be at Upper Elementary. We are happy to welcome him back. Congratulations, Max. And now I would like to ask Upper Elementary student Kaylee Dexter to come up on stage and talk about the Montessori model of the United Nations. Although some of you may still know me as Addison. 
Susan Dexter. <laughs> and school can teach you how to do math and reading, but it takes a special place that gives opportunities to learn about my strengths and teaches you the life schools that skills that I have learned here at the Glen. I have done a lot in my nine years at the Glen. I have written articles for the Montessori Minute, helped in founding Spilled Coffee and Co., and have even gone to the Montessori Model United Nations in New York City. Now, what else about me? <laughs> oh my God. Honestly, all jokes aside, I owe a lot to the Glen. In many more ways than one, the Montessori Method and the fantastic teachers have shaped me into the person that I am today. Throughout my many years at the Glen, I have had opportunities to be a leader. Whether it be working at the coffee shop and Pizza Fridays, or taking the lead in the project, or even simply helping others out, I am, great, I am very grateful for these privileges to lead at the Glen, and all of those were experiences that I would not have had at any other school. In any school, problems are going to arise in your class. No other school teaches how to deal with those problems better than the Glen. When problems arise in our classroom, we all sit down in the middle of the room and discuss the problem in a student-led open forum. This is important because the students decide the rules, and it is always a mutual decision made upon what is best for the class. However, this is often difficult, especially when it is about a friend of yours or when it is not something you want to discuss. But it is always necessary. It is a wonderful skill to be able to discuss real problems and the Glen is the best place to learn it. When our upper elementary took a class trip to New York City, an empowering experience awaited us. We had an unbelievably fun time, and this is an experience we won't soon forget. We learned that children can make a difference, and that you must stand up for what you believe. These two powerful ideals will stay with me throughout my life, and will help me in all the areas of my education. These are the skills that I pride myself on, and I never could have gained them without going to the Glen. That is why I have been at this school for nine years. That is the sure joy of Montessori, and that is the real joy of the Glen Montessori. This school has done amazing things for me, and parents, I'm sure it will continue to do amazing things for your children too. Thank you. 